Hello, good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am Faye, I'm 32 and I am a Masters in Nursing student, currently finishing up the BM portion of my programme before I start my Integrated Masters in September. Just before we get started, make sure that you go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more content. So as you can see, I'm currently talking to you from my bed, which is never ever how my videos start out. I'm usually up, busy doing something. But at this moment in time, I am in bed. It's Saturday the 18th of February and it is, I don't know if you can see, it's 20 to one. And yes, I am in, still in bed and I am in my pajamas. However, I have already been up. I've been up since six o'clock this morning because the dog decided to wake me up. So I've been up, I've cleaned the house downstairs, done a few jobs around the house, and I've just finished, I only just had my breakfast because I didn't wake up hungry. I'm um, just finishing up a cup of coffee in one of my new mugs that Lee got me. He got me a new mug yesterday. In fact, he got me two new mugs yesterday. I will share them in a bit. If you're new here, then yes, I am obsessed with coffee mugs and coffee. So there's that. I have planned to bring you along for me for a little weekend in the life of a nursing student obviously and I did have it all planned out to show you get me getting up this morning I was going to try and have a line till about eight o'clock and then I was going to read my book and Lee bought me a new Colleen Hoover book Verity which I've not read yet I've got it on my side I'm going to read it in a minute that's why I've got back into bed so I was going to get up this morning and my plan was that I was going to have a nice chill morning read my book in bed have breakfast in bed get to the gym for about 11 12 o'clock it's 20 to 1 I'm back in bed India is off school, um, obviously, because it's Saturday, so she's up, she's had a breakfast, and she's just chilling now, eating a lunch. And Lee is downstairs watching something on YouTube, I think. So I come back upstairs just for a little quiet time, because we don't get that often, us mums, us student nurses, and us student nurses who are mums, it is, you know, time for yourself is very, very few and far apart. Me and Lee are going to go to the gym, and then I'm going to come back. I've got an Amazon uh, a few Amazon packages to go through with you and another exciting delivery that I've had. I work tomorrow, I'm on placement tomorrow, half seven in the morning till eight o'clock at night. Also, again, like to keep things real. Uh, I usually talk about my rosacea quite a lot on my channel, but the camera never seems to pick it up, but you can see it quite bad today. So I'm having quite a bit of a flare up. I haven't, oh, there you go, you can see it all. So I do suffer with rosacea and when I'm stressed out, it gets a lot worse and I haven't done any skincare whatsoever the last couple of days i have just been too tired i'm being totally honest with you guys i have not kept up with my rosacea skincare routine that i have and i am really suffering for it so there's that it's normal people have skin things it's got worse the older i've got it's just one of them things and just live with it i don't have perfect skin i don't know many people that do it's normal it's normal it's normal so if you have rosacea and you suffer like me or any other skin conditions on your face, do not panic. So many of us do. So anyway, going to finish my coffee and I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. Okay, so I'm back from the gym. Quarter past four. I took my camera with me to the gym, intending to film, because me and Lee went to the gym. And I left it in the car and I completely forgot, but I may or may not have added in footage of me in the gym that Lee took on his phone. I may have put that in already. If not, sorry guys. Um, <clears throat> but I just really wanted to show you really quickly a little Amazon haul. I ordered a few things off Amazon the other day and they've come, so I wanted to share them with you. So I haven't used any of them, but I have opened them. So first up, as of this week, so I have one more shift left tomorrow on placement, and then I'm down to a two week countdown. And as I said on my other videos, I'm doing three shifts a week on my placement, my set placement. And then as of this week coming and the week after, I'm spending one day of those weeks, it's a Wednesday this week and Wednesday next week, back in the prison. So for my own safety purposes, I am not going to go to the prison in my uniform that has my university logo on for obvious safety reasons. So I went on to Amazon and ordered some grey scrubs because my uniform for university is grey so I thought as long as I stick with like a similar colour. Um, but we have like navy blue pants with our uniform which doesn't make any sense but I tried to get a full grey scrub set and I went on to Amazon to get them but they had none that was a full set that was actually nice so I've had to like get a top from one company and trousers from another 
both say that the colour is charcoal, but the pants have turned up. And yes, they do say charcoal on the label, but they look blue to me. What do you guys think? Let me know. So these are the pants, like cargo pants. They are scrubs, but they've got like cargo pockets on the side. Um, I absolutely love them. So I've got these, which are really, really nice. If they were actually grey, now I don't know if they look grey on camera, but to me they're like a petrol blue. Um, but it does say somewhere, I know it does, there, so it does say charcoal on the label. But, look at the top. That's grey to me. They look blue. And I'm absolutely gutted. Now, I know I've ordered them from two different companies, but surely charcoal is like a universal colour when it comes to a grey, because that to me is definitely more charcoal, and that is blue. Ah, so I'm gutted, but I'm gonna wear them anyway. This scrub top, which is looks massive, but it's not actually that bad, and it's a little, little bit roomier at the back than what I'd hoped, but it is a small, but it is actually really nice. It's got big deep pockets on. It's got like a v-neck collar if you can see uh, it's got a little pocket here it might have an inner pocket they usually do don't think it has on there then does it no i don't think it's got any inner pockets but it's got the breast pocket here for pens and things and then big deep pocket on the side and another big deep pocket on the sides it's actually how my university uniform set out that's actually what we have we have a breast pocket and two big deep side pockets i have hair straighteners hardly ever use them hardly ever do my hair i'm sure you can tell that but um I liked, for years and years and years, before it became trendy, I always waved my hair. I used to do it, people have ne had never seen anyone do it with straighteners before, because I've been doing it, no joke, for about 15 years, where you get your straighteners and you twist it one way, twist it the other, and go all the way down, and it gives you like a wave to your hair. It's a bit like, is it mermaid waves, or whatever they call it. But my straighteners, even though the GHGs, they are getting old and they're not heating up as much, and the wave isn't staying as long, and... So I've actually invested in these from Tony and Guy, again off Amazon, and it is a deep waver. So I've never actually used a waving tool before, so I haven't got a clue how it's gonna turn out, but after I have shown you this little haul, I'm gonna go and get a shower, wash my hair, and I'm gonna try this out. So I will show you what it looks like when it's done. And just my coffee creamer, because I do get asked what coffee creamer I use, because over here in the UK, we don't have liquid coffee creamer. It's very, very rare. And we certainly don't have the Coffee Mate ones or I can't remember what the other brand is. Um, we don't have any liquid coffee creamer anyway. So if you go onto Amazon to get liquid coffee creamer, you're going to pay like 20 odd, 30 pound a bottle, which only lasts like a couple of drinks, which is insane because it has to be imported from the US. So, but we can get the powder version. So I always get the French vanilla, it's zero sugar. And it is literally the same as the liquid one, it's just in powder form. Uh, I don't know why. Not much of a haul now, I'll think about it, is it? But the other thing I wanted to show you guys that I got delivered. So if you've been here before or if you've checked out any of my other videos, you will see that I was reached out to... Reached out to? Is that right? Where are saying that? Uh, a company reached out to me to try out some nursing shoes and they are Hawkwell. They did give me a discount code for you guys, it's Faith35 and it gives you 35% off. I don't make any commission on it, it's not like that, they just send me the shoes and I try them and then that's why I got the discount code. So they've been really, really nice and they've reached out to me again and asked me to try some more shoes for them. So, this time around they are the clog style and again over in the UK we have set standards so we have to have plain black shoe, closed toe, nothing else, it has to be completely solid like we can't have trainers or anything and if we do they have to be like solid toe trainers however i found a pair of these i won't do a full massive video on them because i'm going to do an actual video for them but these i won't show you all the stuff inside the box because they sent extra goodies as well which i'm going to show you on the video that i do but i will show you one of the shoes um so i was a little bit cheeky we did do the plain black ones i just thought i'm just gonna push my look a little bit and I ordered black with like blues and green pattern on them. Now, aren't they just the funkiest, coolest clogs you've ever seen? I just love them. So I'm hoping I can kind of try and get away with them. Maybe not so much in the hospital, but I'm going to wear them when I go and do my spokes in the prison because it's not my assigned placements. They're not as strict on uniform policies when you do that. So I'm going to wear them when I go to the prisons. I'm gonna try after I've worn them in the prisons on my next placement to see if I can wear them there, but 
If not, then I will definitely just have these for spoken out, but I am so excited to try these out. Will not go into detail on them. I am going to do a whole video on them, just like I did on my other ones, so stay tuned for that. Now, this isn't part of the haul because it isn't anything that I've ordered, but I showed you this morning that Leah got me that brown mug from Asda, and he got me this one as well. So it's from like the same, I think it's like the same design kind of thing, so he got me this. It's like grey and beigey brown colour on it, and I just think it's lovely, so... That's what I'll be having my next coffee in. I'm going to get in the shower. I'm going to go and do my rosacea skincare. I'm going to wash my hair. And then I'm going to dry it and use my waver. So I will show you what I do. Show you how it looks. And I'm going to put my lashes on as well. So I use lashes from Tatty Lashes. They're on for like 10 days. Sometimes longer if you do them really well. And you just put the, the glue on. As, as mascara and they just attach the little segments all the way underneath so they go underneath the lash line as opposed to on top so not like strip lashes or clusters where you stick them over the top they literally go underneath so they look really natural and nice but anyway I'm going to shut up talking because I've been ranting for like 10 minutes I'm going to go upstairs get a shower and I'll catch you guys in a bit so I think it's pretty much dry everywhere uh, I've not opened these yet I've not even had a look at them so oh my god maybe we do need instructions what on earth do we do oh Okay, so I thought they were stuck, but they actually have a lock mechanism. Out of our degree now, we have to be ready to prescribe once we graduate. And it's part of the new syllabus for the nursing degree. The old way was that you had to, if you want to do prescribing once you are qualified, you have to wait a, a year of post-graduation before you can apply for the prescribing course. And then I think it's a year course. I could be wrong, so correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's what the rules were. However, they want us all now to be in a position to apply for the prescribing course straight away instead of waiting a year post-graduation. And it's only a six-month course as opposed to a year. Now, you don't have to go on and do prescribing, but the option is there, and they just want you at a level where you are more knowledgeable. So... They are now expecting student nurses to be more medical than they ever have been, which is great. However, the pay is not reflecting that and it's a bit of a kick in the nuts because obviously we'll be doing a lot more. We are doing a lot more and still on the same level as pay, of pay as those who haven't had to do the prescribing ready, which is a bit of a, a sucker punch really. Okay, yes. Isn't that beautiful? Obviously, it needs a little bit of messing around with because the front's a little bit wild, but I don't know if you can see it properly. So, so I've just clipped my hair back just for a little bit just whilst I do my lashes. I'm not sure if that's going to not have a knock-on effect, but I can always just touch it up. These are the tatty lashes. And it just comes like this. So there's like a mascara end, which is the adhesive. And then this is the, the sealer, so it keeps them lasting longer just like that can we use them as well but they come with these really nice gold tweezers they're quite thick and literally just pick them off and put them on so under the lash line yeah i'm gonna need a mirror be right back like that tap it on real gentle and then you do the same across the eye and then once you've got all the lashes on where you want them on, you get your tweezers and you go across. I'll show you actually because it's a little bit easier to, to show than explain. But you squeeze the lashes together gently. So, sorry for being so up in your face, but that's them before they are pressed down. I really don't know how I'm going to attempt to do this without a mirror, but... So you literally bring your tweezers and tap them gently together. And then they hold in place. And you do that all the way along. I'm just going to go back to the mirror, I won't be a sec. This is them, now that they have been squeezed together. Take the sealer and go along the roots, it's see-through. So, literally just where the glue is. Okay, yes, all done. It's gone a bit fuzzy on top because I've just had it clipped up whilst I did my lashes, as you know, but these are the finished products. I'm going to go down and have my tea because I feel like all I've done today is bore the socks off you guys. So I am sorry, but it is a weekend in the life and today is a day off. I've not really done anything. I've gone to the gym, read my books, as you've seen. Five past 
seven, so I've got five minutes to leave. Not putting any makeup on today. It's Sunday. I'm really not that fussed. Um, hair is okay. It's actually stayed in fairly well. I have only had maybe two hours sleep. Can you tell? I cannot believe. Honestly, I've not had a night like that in months where it's been that bad. I'm just literally packing my lunch really quick and then I'm heading out the door. So, that's my lunch bag. I've just got my ice pucks in. They're in uh, two enchiladas, extras from last night that Lee made. And if we have tea, we always try and, I always try and have extra made so I can take it to work. Banana, um, a breakfast drink. Crikey. Yeah, bad night. I need to drink yogurt. Now the yogurt I mix with cereal, so it's like, um, but not like quite muesli, but it's like a crisp cereal. Um, and it's got strawberries and things in it, so a tub of cereal in there, then mix it with the yogurt. And then just my hydro jug, so. Oh, and a cake, just for later. Might not even eat that, but. <sighs> Look at the light behind me, guys. Sun is out more in the mornings. I literally, oh, my wedding rings on shit. I'll just take them off before I get out of the car. I am working today, half seven in the morning till eight o'clock at night. My usual mentor, assessor, um, is not in today. I am with my second suit. Oh, crikey, it is first thing in the morning. So we have. They used to be called mentors, but now they're called assessors. So you have a practice assessor, who is your main assessor for everything, who does everything with you mainly. Um, but then you have a practice supervisor who stands in when your practice assessor isn't there. So I am with my practice supervisor today. She's lovely. So I'm hoping maybe she'll maybe help me have a slightly easier day because guys, I have not stopped. This last two weeks, I have literally been given full control of the bays that I've worked in. And when I say full control, I mean, I literally have come in in the mornings and my, my assessor has said, you know, we're down on um, a registered nurse. Are you okay to take a bay? You don't have to. She, it's not been forced on me, but she was like, you know, are you comfortable taking uh, a whole bay? She said, and obviously I'll be in the, another bay, but if you need me, I'll be in there. So the only thing I haven't done is medications because I can't be on my own to do that. So my assessor has come in to do the morning, noon and tea time meds. But other than that, I have literally ran the bays entirely from 7.30 in the morning till 8 o'clock at night, gone and done handover and handed over all my patients. It's just, it's not been, it's been crazy. I've literally been treated like a registered nurse, which is nice and it's given me a huge confidence boost. But honestly, guys, I am ready for a nap. I'm ready for just a slightly less stressful day. I'm supposed to have more staff in today, so I'm hoping that it's not as intense today. Okay, I'm here. I've arrived. I think you can see my hair a little bit better in this light. Back in the underground car park, but it's daylight this time. It's only a couple of weeks ago. I did, might have even been like a week or so ago that I did a week in the life. And it's completely pitch black under here, but it's not, it's nice. Bright days are coming guys, bright days are coming. So, I'm gonna go in, head in. I will do my best to check in with you in a bit, but obviously I think I've said it before, we're not allowed to film in the hospital or anything. And we only get half an hour dinner, so by the time I um, and we get half an hour break as well but by the time I go and get my food out and go and sit down with it probably won't be enough time to come back to the car but I will certainly try because I don't usually come and update you halfway through the day but I'll do my very best depending on the day that I have sorry that this is all up in your grill but I'm trying to hide my oh no you're going to do it there I was going to say I'm trying to hide my uh, university badge so it is I'm not quite sure what time it is I've just completely lost track of time but just thought i would come and give you a little quick update so it's actually been dare i say a very quiet day very steady just general nursing care going on no patients luckily crossed fingers have become unwell or anything so just general nursing care i've changed a few dressings helped with the medications checked the blood sugars what else have i done administered insulin um that is kind of it there hasn't really been anything specific that's gone on that's been anything out of the ordinary for once so it's actually a very chill day good evening look how tired i am 
I actually ended up getting sent home, well, not sent home, I ended up coming home early from placement. Um, for personal things, don't really need to go into it on here, but needed to come home. I ended up in home a couple of hours. Going to get in the bath in a minute and then I come downstairs, have a Sunday dinner. I'm also going to do some studying for medications. I have been given some new medications today to learn, so I'm going to sit down and do them, and I will show you guys how I do my medication revision. So if anyone's interested in pharmacology and wants to know how I personally revise for pharmacology and look at all the medications, medication study, then stay tuned a little longer because I'm going to show you in a little while. 2 a.m. in the car playing my favorite song Turn it up, windows down, we sing along I'm not doing any A&P today but I am doing my medications revision and a little bit of pharmacology so I have been given new medications today to look up, I think I told you that before. So that's what I'm gonna go and study, the new ones that I've been given, and I think I've got a couple in there that I've already written down that I haven't fully looked into, so I'm gonna have a look at them as well. So I will show you what it is that I do, and yeah, I'll talk you through it. So, I have here my medication revision guide, and this is from Nurse Beck Supplies on Instagram. I think I've shown this before in here, but can't really remember. So basically, you look up your medication. I will talk you through more about how I find them in a moment. Just for example, carbocysteine, which is a mucolytic, which literally, so it helps to clear the chest of sputum. Now, this is set out so simply. There's still little bits I need to finish, but this is probably a better one to show you because I filled a bit more in on here. So enoxaparin is your anticoagulant. So that's the, so all the names you might have heard it of is Clexane, Fragmin, and Inahep and basically they're what we give into the tummies to prevent blood clots so this is a really good book because it literally gives you step by step of what to do so you look up the drug name the drug class the indications so what it's used for the dosage mechanisms of action so this is the pharmacology part so it'll tell you the mecha me mechanism of action the route that it's given contraindications side effects cautions drug interactions and additional notes so brand names and things again another one morphine it's an opioid indication why it's used is acute pain chronic pain cough my writing by the way is horrendous in these and i wish i'd have taken more time and written them neatly but of these have been written whilst i've been out on placement so i'm kind of rushed when i do them but um mechanism of action the roots contraindications side effects cautions drug interactions so these are all the things that they interact with if you were to give them uh additional notes breastfeeding unlike this effect infant and so on you get the point this has a lot of drug interactions i think there's even more than that um, but obviously I can only fit so much on. But this is Aripiprazole, and this is one that is used a lot on the placement where I am. It's an antipsychotic, which helps those with dementia. If they are prone to aggression, it does genuinely work very well at the moment. So it's used for a lot of other things as well, which I was quite surprised to read for ASD and Tourette's Syndrome. So that was quite interesting because obviously I have ASD. Uh, India is getting assessed for ASD. And she has Tourette's syndrome, so that was quite interesting to, to read that. And mechanisms of action, more pharmacology, half-life, route of administration, contraindication, side effects. You get the point, I'm going over the same kind of thing, but I have been filling this out as I go along. And how I do this, yeah, so there's 150 noted drug interactions, but these are the main ones that I wrote down and fit in there. That is a lot. That is for lorazepam. Lorazepam has a lot of things going down. What I do is I will take this. If you do not have this, I honestly highly suggest you can see how creased and crinkled mine is. I genuinely, it's battered. So in here, it literally has pretty much every single medication you will need. I will not go into huge detail on how to use the book, but if you find it difficult to understand the way in which the book works, because it's set out into sections so anti-angina drugs laxatives antifungal drugs and so on but if you're struggling to understand it that way you can just go to the index at the back and say we want to look for codeine you just flick to the back and codeine there it will show you i don't know if, you, if it's focusing or not that is terrible for my camera so somewhere there it's on page 192 so if we flick to 192 
I think I'm still zoomed in, <laughs> yeah. Um, but it, then it will literally go through everything that's in this book. So it tells you about the other names for it, the drug group, so that's the classification, general information, side effects. It tells you the duration of action, so this is your pharmacology section, onset of action, dosage, precautions, interactions with other medications, everything that you need to know, it's all in this book. However, it isn't the be all and end all and there is some medications that are not in here. So, if you not find it in here, you can get an app on your phone. I've even, I think I've got it on my phone. Let me have a look. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've got the BNF app, which is handy if it's gonna focus. Literally, let's look for codeine. Let's have a look. There we go. So codeine phosphate, we'll click on there. And again, it gives you all of the things that you need to be able to fill this medication revision guide out. All the pharmacology sections, so indications, dose, contraindications, caution, side effects. You get the point. If you don't have the app on your phone, I only ever really use that one on placement because it's quick and easy. You can come online and do it. So you can just access the BNF online and just type your drugs into the search bar at the top. So codeine and again it will bring it all up for you like this you can also as well what a lot of people don't know is you can actually go to a pharmacy and they will give you an old physical bnf which i used to have um but I, wow that lines changed really funny um i used to have one it's literally probably about a similar size to this but if they are old ones and they will give you them for free so just go to your local pharmacy and just ask if you've got any old bnfs if you prefer the handheld ones if you're wondering why i've got a dictionary it's because when i'm coming across medications and I'm hearing words about them, there's certain words about them, like how they describe them or things that they're used for or conditions that they're used for. If I don't know what they are, I want to know because I want to know why I'm giving my patient a certain medication and what that's gonna do, obviously. So it's all right reading about it, but if you don't actually understand what you're reading, then what's the point? So I go to my little nursing dictionary, Lee got me this mini one for Christmas. I have got a bigger one, which I've always used, excuse me but this is just so much easier, it's a pocket sized one. So I go to my little dictionary and I will look up the words that I am not understanding or the phrases or whatever. And then it just gives me a better understanding of what it is that I'm writing about. So that is how I do my medications revision, medication studying, bit of pharmacology. Um, so yeah, I hope that has helped somebody. I'm gonna leave the vlog here. Thank you so much for spending the weekend with me and seeing what I get up to on a weekend in the life of a nursing student. Thank you so, so much for spending the time with me. I am very, very grateful to every single one of you that are here with me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. The summer night has just begun. The moon is bright, let's some fun Oh, this is everything With you right next to me So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go Wanna go